Hi, ladies. Um, it's Tiffany. Um, in this video, I wanted to discuss the dark side of being in this industry, whether you're a cam girl, escort, stripper, um, whatever, any, any, any field where it has to do with looks, whether that be modeling, whatever, um, I, I want to point out something that I saw in this episode of P Valley. I am going to tell the dark side of the industry that the other girls don't talk about or they don't like to discuss or either they may they may talk about it but they're not being 100% real when they do talk about it this episode um, I'm not sure if for any of you that watches P Valley uh, season 2 episode um, what is, is this episode 6 the episode called Savage, the most recent episode. And the scene that I'm going to talk about is the scene where Roulette and Whisper, the two strippers that are supposed to be close or friends or co close co-workers, whatever you want to call it, or stripper buddies, whatever you want to call it. Um, so they are on stage together you know one is on one pole the others on the other pole now roulette uh is the girl with the big lips and she had the little the two colored bangs um the long hair with the big lips and they you know uh, she you know got, got the eggplant in her mouth for extra income i guess that's what she did to one of the customers, or well, a few of the customers at the bank, right? One of the guys that asked Roulette to put her mouth on his eggplant for, a, what was it, was it a stack or $1,000, $10,000? I can't remember the number. Let's just say $1,000. I can't really remember uh, I'm stuttering. I can't really remember the number. So, let's just say Roulette got $1,000 for sucking on the eggplant. And that same customer comes back into the club and he asks for a whisper. But he says, oh, go get her. I want her. I want to pay her, let's just say, 2000 I want to pay her this much to eat her. Poom, poom. And obviously, Roulette is like, huh, well, I, you pay me to do this, and you're paying her to do something that she enjoys. I, I wish I got that option, and you're also paying her more to do less. And uh, I see the scene that comes up next is Roulette is looking in the mirror at herself comparing herself to other women thinking that she is less than because this girl over here is making more money for doing less she's starting to look extra hard at herself and i, I can see her confidence and self-esteem go down a little bit in this episode or maybe a lot and looking at that episode where she was judging herself comparing herself thinking she's less than it really hit home to me because being in this industry whether you're a cam girl stripper it, a pso or in anything where you have to show your body and show your face and you're being judged by your looks on a daily basis any of you ladies that are in this industry where we're being judged on our looks we all know the dark side it can be a little toxic to be constantly put up against each other 
uh, it can kind of break up our womanhood a little bit, our sisterhood a little bit. Um, looking at that scene where she's picking herself apart in the mirror, thinking something's wrong with her because she didn't get the money that Whisper got, her friend Whisper. Uh, I felt that. I felt that scene it brought tears to my eyes that's why i sound the way i sound right now i just got finished watching p valley and i just remember that scene it made me think about the times i cried when i logged off of cam and when i stopped streaming it it made me think about the times where I wasn't streaming on, you know, webcam sites, but I was streaming on dating apps, uh, which I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about dating apps and how you can get paid with dating apps and more future videos. One day I was crying on on live. I, I let the people in my live see me break, which is a big no, 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 don't do what I did. But everything, what happened that day, it all happened so fast. But I, I may do a story time on what happened that day where I just broke down and cried. And it was because of a comment multiple people were making about my looks. And hearing it all day, all week, it can really get to you. A lot of girls don't talk about how they go in other girls rooms and they watch them and sometimes we may feel a little envy or jealousy or how does she make that much and uh she's just sitting there and i i have to do more to make half of that a lot of girls don't like to be real and admit how they feel and the dark side of this industry but i'm being 100% real and authentic and telling you that yes I go in top models rooms and I look at them and I pick at myself like oh her stomach is flatter than mine her ass is bigger than mine her titties are bigger than mine uh, her hair is more prettier oh her background looks better and I have to get on myself and say stop Tiffany, don't don't do that. You have your followers. You have your thing going on. Don't compare yourself to her. Okay, there there is room for everybody in the sex industry, but it doesn't stop or take away from the fact that jealousy still happens. Comparing ourselves to others, it still happens. Um, you know, feeling less than and you know things hurting our self-esteem it still happens it still happens and that's the dark side of being in this industry yes when, when you get in it's all fun and you're the new girl and you feel sexy and the guys are building you up your confidence is going up your self-esteem is going up you're the new girl the new kid on the block and you love it you love the money but once you get in there for a while the dark side will come the side where you're you're you know looking at this girl and looking at how much money she makes and Oh, you're called a seven and she's a ten and or or this guy calls you a five and they called her an eight and it, it's, it's the constant um comparing it's the constant being judged on our looks being judged on some things that are out of our control like skin tone facial features that you know cosmetics that cost thousands to get fixed but who wants to do that if you really are scared like myself to go under the knife uh but i won't do that ever not for a man it'll only be for myself um but yeah it's just me keeping it real keeping it 100 and just telling you ladies 
if you want to get in this industry, be prepared to have dark days where you're like, okay, I I got my followers, I do good, but wow, look at look at her, you know, I'm. Uh, you will have your dark days where you compare yourself, and I, I don't want to hear anyone say, "Oh, I never did that." I, I, I love myself. I'm always confident. I don't never compare. Yes, you did. We, we all did it. There's always a prettier girl. There's always a more popular girl. It's, it's always someone better. So don't say that you never compared yourself, because we all did it. We all been there. So if you want to get into this, get into this industry, like I said, if this is what you, if this is what you want to do, be prepared for these days where you log off cam and you cry and you, you know, take a hit. Something takes a hit at your self esteem, but you have to build yourself back up. You have, you have to know, and I have to tell myself this too. You have to know that you are that bitch. You are that girl. And you have to build yourself back up. It's called self-esteem for a reason. You have to reassure yourself that you are that bitch. And don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Yes, there is good days. And there is money to be made. There's good days and there's money to be made for sure. It can be fun. Some days can be very fun. Some days can be very successful. Some days can be very busy. You can make your money. You have people complimenting you. And it's just a good vibe. You're going to have those days. And that's what every cam girl hope for on every stream. You know? Um, So there's nothing... Not not trying to make cam sound like a dark, scary thing. Like, oh, you know, it's going to hurt your self-esteem. It's just me pointing out the dark side of it. It it is what it is and it happens. But just know that it's money to be made. And don't compare yourself to other girls so much. Getting in this industry, you gotta, you gotta have self-esteem. You gotta love yourself. You gotta have thick skin. I mean, when I tell you, there's guys who are going to say, oh, you're ugly. Oh, you're too fat. Oh, you're too short. Oh, you're too tall. Oh, you're too dark. You're too light. You're, I, don't, I don't like your hair. Oh, your eyes. Oh, this is like, oh, I'm going like, oh, I'm, I'm to go to Lisa. Oh, I'm going, oh, I don't like her. When I tell you, you, you're going to go through that every day. And even the slightest thing, like guys coming in your room and breathing, Sometimes when that happens to me, I think, well, damn, they don't like my makeup. They don't, you don't like my outfit. Oh, what did I do wrong? Oh, but he could have just followed you and left. But he also could have just said, I don't like her and left. So that's the thing that plays in my head a lot. And I have to say, you know what, whether he followed me or not or just left because he didn't like, you know, it, it is what it is. You have to have thick skin and love yourself and build yourself up and have these pep talks with yourself. You are that bitch. You are a bad bitch. You are beautiful. You are loved. You are beautiful. You are pretty. There's nothing wrong with your body. You have to tell yourself this every day. Every other day. Every day. Once a week. You got you gotta you gotta you you gotta know yourself. You gotta have that confidence and that stiffness and that that thick wall like you know what nobody can break me because you know guys are always going to have something to say about your looks because of the type of industry that you're in you gotta have thick skin and when the other cam girls told me this before i started they told me you gotta have thick skin gotta have thick skin And and when they would say that i would never understand completely what they meant i just thought oh uh, every everyone got trolls every everyone got trolls whatever i can I handle trolls but no 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 you gotta have thick skin for the more deeper psychological things 
You got to have a strong mind. You got to have strong self-esteem. You got to have strong confidence. Because if you don't, this industry will break you and have you breaking down. So always love yourself. Be sure and secure with yourself. Especially in this type of industry. Don't settle for less and know that you are beautiful and you are loved. And get your money and stop comparing yourself.